hello everyone welcome to our channel and today i will be giving you out five easy ways to open up almost every website out there on a school chromebook so after using these methods you will be able to access the blocked websites and let's get started with it without any further ado so i will be providing these links in the description all you have to do is just copy them and paste it in your browser so just copy it and open your tab and then paste it in the address bar then click enter and it will open up so this website url is momentumcalculator.org and here you can search for a query or directly enter the url of a website if you know it then just paste it over here and click enter and it will open up now let's see whether it works or not so let's search for spotify over here since spotify is blocked on school chromebook so let's try to open it up this way and this is a proxy server so it takes a little while to open it up and it doesn't work on the full potential of your wi-fi's speed so wait for it and let it load if it takes a lot of time to open up then you can always go back and search for it again and if it doesn't open up then you can just directly copy the spotify's link and click enter and wait for it to load so here we go it has opened up spotify and what i have observed is that when we type in the exact url in the search bar and then search for it then it opens up quite fast otherwise it takes quite a lot of time so you can keep it in mind and use this website this way now let's move on with our another method and for that i will be providing the link in the description and it is quite faster than the first one that we have seen so just copy this link and paste it in the search bar address bar sorry and its name is visualmath.art but is it but it is a link for nebula and in nebula all you have to do is just click here and search for the website that you want to access suppose you want to access discord so just type in discord and click enter and it will redirect you there it has opened up discord for us just open it up and see it is quite fast way faster than the first method so just search for it and you will be able to do it you can search for other websites as well on nebula let's search for spotify and we have opened spotify also it is taking a time this is actually a little slower than your actual wi-fi because we are using a proxy to open these websites so it takes a while to open them have a little patience and you will be able to open all these websites now let's move on with our another method but before moving on with our another method let me tell you something that might be helpful for the next method and for that you need to click on this icon on right hand side of your profile and click on it then click on add another account and here you have to add your personal account other than the account that is logged into your chromebook as as of now so you can just access the google web store and add extensions now let's move on with our another method and we will be required an extension in the next method so search for chrome web store on the search result and select it let it open and after that click on the very first link that you will see from the results and open it up and this is where it will lead you to all you have to do is just search for read and write And make sure that you are using the symbol of and and not the spelling of and and then select this option of read and write for google and this is where it will lead you to all you have to do is just select this very first extension which is in purple color and open it up and then you will be able to see an option of add to chrome over here and since i already have it that's why it is saying remove from chrome for me and for you it will say add to chrome just click on it and after that a prompt will appear click on add as an extension and it will be added as an extension to your chrome 
and this is where it will appear so all you have to do after that is just open up a new tab and then I will be providing a link in the description so all you have to do is just copy this link and paste it in your address bar click enter and it will prompt a new screen on your Chromebook then click on sign in options then click on sign in with github and wait for it now click on this icon of github on the top and then hover around your cursor on open source and this list will appear and you have to select the option of topics in this list after that this screen will appear all you have to do is just scroll down to the very end and then click on load more then again scroll down to the very end and click on load more and after you scroll down a little bit you will be able to see this option of google over here just click on it and open it up after that you will be able to see this google's link on the right hand side and click on it and let it open this is where it will lead you to a new browser a new screen and a new place to search and this is quite different from your usual chrome screen browser as you will be able to unblock all the websites and open up almost all the websites using this method so let's search for roblox over here so we can see actually it works or not so search for roblox and open it up then click on roblox since it is blocked on chrome that's why i'm opening it up and after opening it up you can type in your details and sign up and if you already have an account then click on login and fill in your already existing details and login and play and this way you can open up all the other websites also using this method and now let's move on with our another method and for that you can just open up a new tab and search for nordvpn I will also be giving you out a cool method after this method so wait for a while so in this method you have to search for nordvpn or any other vpn that you want to use and it can be a free vpn also just open this vpn and download it install it and then enable it and then you will be able to access the blocked websites you can go for a free trial version for nordvpn or any other vpn but there are completely free vpns also you can use them and vpn is a good choice to unblock the websites so just use them and now let's move on with our last method and for that you need to go to your browser and search for google translate wait for a while don't laugh i know what you are thinking so when this opens up click on this option of google translate and open it up in a different window as this method won't work directly on this search result and after that here you can type in the website that you want to access and it will appear as a link over here but when you try to do the same on the search results it won't appear as a link so you won't be able to click here that's why i'm telling you to open it up in a different tab and after that just click on this translated version you don't have to change the language or anything just let it be and click on this link and it will open up i'm taking google.com as an example you can type in other websites as well that are blocked on your school chromebook and this way you can open it up and i hope this video was helpful and most of these methods should work for you and if you found this video to be helpful make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos